Mando Loco. Is Mondo Loco. Welcome to the all new movie show, Mondo Loco. Join our homegrown film geek, Alex, and his trustworthy cameraman, Mike, on their adventures around the globe as they attempt to hunt down cult film and TV locations. From Essex to LA, from Hitchcock to Tarantino, no film location is safe as the mighty duo will do anything to get on set. Oh, who fancy seeing you here again? We must stop keep bumping into each other like this. Back at the Oscars, in the middle of the crush, it's a bit busy, busier this year than it was. At least it's not raining, it was raining last year and the year before. Nice and warm, but very, very busy. Got a few interesting films this year. We've got The Big Short, uh, Revenant is up for one, Danish Girl, um, Spotlight. Um, we've got oh, Straight Outta Compton, that's kind of been overlooked a little bit, which is a shame. I wonder if Chris Rock will have anything to say about that. Um, good, kind of hope um, Sylvester Stallone gets Best Sporting Actor for Rocky, it'd be nice to see him get that. I wonder if Leo will finally get an Oscar for The Revenant. Probably, probably, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, he's got a bit of a curse on him, hasn't he? Uh, who else is it? Who's that English woman, Mike? Come on, you can talk up. The English woman. Charlotte Rampling, got to remember her. So she's up there. Kate Blanchett. Oh, a whole host of good things going on this year. I'm a bit tired, I've got to admit, a little bit tired, a little bit sunstruck. Oh yes, look at this, look why I'm dressed up like an eye and plum. Look at this, production quality up this year, got a bit of a budget, so wearing this. Anyway, check out what's going on, hear some screaming, I think some people are turning up, have a, have a quick look. Hello, look who I've just found in the crush, it's only Helen in her blooming pyjamas. How are you doing, Helen? Yeah, thanks. You enjoying, you enjoying the crush? Yeah. It's nice weather this like year. I like being crushed and smacking. You like being, I know you've heard that. Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing this year? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yes. Eddie Redmayne. Yep, you saw him yeah. last year, didn't you? Yes. He's very indeed, exciting. Yes. I remember you, I no doubt. Um, so, you're going to do some TV stuff as well this year? Uh, yeah, I think so. We're going to do some Pretty Little Lies stuff, Excellent. maybe some Friends Wonderful. stuff. Wonderful. Show us your back, let's spin you around. Look at all these tall days. <laughs> Guys, it's 2016, our fifth year still going strong. Mando Loco! Good morning, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little tired, I have to admit. Okay, so it's been a bit of a heavy year this year. We lost someone pretty amazing. Uh, the Thin White Duke has passed. The star man, David Bowie, a hero of mine, a hero of lots of people's, let's admit it. Um, yeah, he passed away in January, which was very sad. He did a lot in LA while he was here. He stayed here in the 70s. He actually recorded one of my favorite albums somewhere in this area. I'm not all that too sure where. where. Cherokee Studios, we're trying to look for it. We're, we're, we're a bit early. Hopefully it's this, this building here. But he recorded Station to Station here, which as you all no, I'm sure is one of his very, very best. I mean, they're all good, aren't they? They're all good, but this is one of his best. And what's on there? Station, station, uh, golden years, word on the wing, uh, wild as the wind, some amazing songs. But hopefully, somewhere in the vicinity, that is where the Thin White Duke actually stood and sang. Let's just soak in the atmosphere, shall we? The return of the Thin White Duke throwing darts in lovers' eyes. Guess where we are now? This is the very house that David Bowie lived in while he was recording Station Station. Look at it, it's so strange. It looks like a kind of tomb. Um, he was quite kind of vampire-like at this stage. He, while he lived here for a whole year, allegedly he only ate peppers and drank milk and did loads of cocaine. But this is where he was when he was recording Station Station. Which, by the way, on the way here, we met somebody else who knew a little bit more of them we did about Cherokee recording studios. And where we were was absolutely right. You can trust us, Mondo Loco people, we know the facts. Uh, they, they demolished the old re recording studios of Cherokee uh, about uh, seven years ago. So that, uh, that office is that we're outside is the location that he recorded Station Station at. And this, this is his house. Look, look at the windows, no windows, strange door, amazing. Can you imagine the thin white Duke walking out, Ziggy? Oh God. We miss you, David. We miss you. 
Hello there, comic book fans. Uh, we're going to take you to a location from a Marvel movie. Do you like Marvel films? I'm sure you do. You're only human. Um, so, we're going to take you from a scene from Iron Man. Do you remember in Iron Man when he gets ca ca captured at the start? And then he builds the Mark I Iron Man suit and he blasts himself to freedom. Where are you going? This way? Before he gets away, he realises that uh, it's a Stark company. His company is supplying the terrorists with their weapons. He's not so happy about that. So he comes back and he gives a speech about how they're no longer going to be making weapons. And he gives the speech, would you believe it, would you Adam and Eve it? He gives the speech right over here, just here. Look at that building. That's actually the Disney Concert Hall. It's used for a lot of things. Obviously, Marvel's owned by Disney, so they're going to use that. I think he stands inside, but he walks up these steps here. Look at that, that's a pretty grand building, don't you think? Would you, do you like that? I can't hear. But... Okay. What you can do is when you go down the stairs yeah. on the sidewalk, enter to those glass doors in that front desk, ask, and they probably will know where exactly it is. Oh, really? Have... So, this is actually the room we've got inside the Disney console, and this is the room that you give the speech in. He actually stands right over here, can you believe it? Hello, I am Iron Man. There you go, this is pretty amazing. Uh, quite a nice building, huge. They use it for a lot of things. Uh, Get Smart was also filmed here. They got the Henry Mancini staircase, family staircase. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of impressive. Anyway, here we are. Very, very nice. I am Iron Man! He is Mando Loco. Yes! So we're on the Warner Brothers lot. Um, lots to see here, lots of different sound stages. Let's go have a look. This is the house for Alice de la Renta's from Pretty Little Liars. Lots of stuff's happened on the porch here whilst they're waiting for uh, hear things from Charles. Hello there, we're at a Warner Brothers studio here and we're inside a Batman bit. Look at this, I've got all the different Batman vehicles. This is my favourite here, I think, probably. Tim Burton Batman. Uh, Michael Keaton sitting in there. Very good, supposedly very hard to get in and out of. Got the Tumblr over there from the, from the uh, Chris Nolan trilogy. Look at that, very nice. The one from uh, Dark Knight Rises. Here's Batman's bike from uh, Dark Knight Rises. Well, the cat will get some. There's the back pod. Pretty cool. There you go. And it's up there. Look, see? Do it again. Turn it off. So, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. Then put it on. Oh. Ready? Look over here. Batman! Amazing. Where is he? I wonder. Who would it be? Ben Affleck? So, we're at the Friends set now. We're at Central Perk. Um, it's really interactive now. You can have your photo taken. You can go behind the thing, be Gunther. Have a look around. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks a lot. Like Hello there, friend. Um, do you like Mad Max? Do you like the new one? Fury Road? Very good, wasn't it? Up for about seven Oscars, so it seemed. We're still at Warner Brothers at the second. And look what they've got over here. They've got all the costumes from Mad Max. Very cool. Here we go. Max's costume. The old mask on. Made of plastic. It looks very real in the film, doesn't it? Furosa's costume there. Her fake arm. Look, so the, the, the green sock, I guess, for getting rid of her arm. 
That's a guy with a metal nose. You know, remember him? He's like the uh, kind of like a banker kind of thing. Nice nipple cuffs. Yeah, here we go. Great, great movie. Just heard from somebody here who works here that George Miller's not going to be directing any more Mad Max films. He's going to be working on the, uh, the Justice League. What's Mad Max going to be like without George Miller, I wonder? Strange, to say the least. But here we go. This is good. How exciting. Tom Hardy inside that costume. Everything is awesome. Do you like the Lego movie? Look at this. Here's the stuff from the opening sequence from the Lego movie. They've actually got the real props. They look very CGI, but it was all stop motion used with real Lego. It's amazing, really, how Lego's come back in fashion now. Um, but here it is. Quite fun, don't you think? And I guess Lego Batman's coming out very soon, so that'll be another little bit of Lego in our hearts. We're still here at Warner Brothers in the uh, museum section. I just found something that's amazing, one of my favourite horror films. Look at this, it's the bloody crucifix from the Exorcist that she, she jerks off with. Amazing, incredible. Do you remember that? Let Jesus love you. Really, <laughs> really great scene. When I watched this film for the first time, it shut me up so badly I had to leave the cinema. I was on a date. On some date, I'd leave the girl in the cinema alone. Oh my God, that's amazing. What I wouldn't do to crack this open, steal that out myself. I wonder, you can probably, probably you can, can you smell her scent on it probably still? Very exciting. Um, what was the death demon called? But Pazuza. The demon Pazuza masturbated with that. Hello there, we've uh, met my friend Matt again, who lives next door to Martin at Flyers House, which is pretty amazing. So, do you have a busy year last year? Oh, it was, it was a busy year. The anniversary really year. Oh, yeah, there was people all the way down the block, both sides full. There was like Three, four tour buses. It was wow. packed with people every day, like pretty much. Oh yeah, the whole week. Wow. Yeah. Was that, how was that? Was it like living next door? Is it a bit too much, or do you kind of like the? I kind of like all the people. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, it must yeah. be cool. It's well, really cool. It's really nice seeing you again. The last yeah, time we saw it, it was totally pitch black, wasn't it? When we oh, saw you yeah, last time. Yeah, so it was, it was a bit, dark. bit nicer now that we can actually yeah. see each other. But uh, well, thank you for talking. Nice yeah. to see you again, Matt. No Take problem. care. See you later. Have a good one. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Hello. You may remember last year we went to the Wayne's World Guitar Shop. Well, where are we now? Wayne's Bloomin' House, this is Wayne Campbell's house, this is the very house that he broadcasts from, Wayne's World in the basement, and he comes out here at the very start, he has the, the van parks up, do you remember that? Well here we are in Wayne's house, it took some finding it, but here it is, Wayne Campbell's house, looks a little bit different from the film, but still pretty much the same, and even a van in the drive, just like before. Hello, we're at Universal Studios, they're not supposed to open the Harry Potter world yet, they've done a cold opening just to test the rides, what luck, look at this, we're going on the rides. Amazing, look at the scale of it. Come on, let's go. This is very exciting. We don't think we get to go on this, so it's all supposed to be closed, but somehow we're here and we're in Hogsmeade, in the Wizard World of Harry Potter. So exciting. Come on. Okay, we're on one of the rides. I can't remember what the ride's actually called. Um, I don't know, we've gone in, we've gone into um, Helen. Helen, what's the name of this castle? I've forgotten it. Oh, of course it is. What am I like? Oh my god, it's the nerves. It's the excitement. I've forgotten who I am and what my name is. Um, we're inside Hogwarts. We go on a Hogwarts ride. Oh, I'm very, very excited. It's all so lovely here. Uh, well, I'll tell you what it's like afterwards. That was amazing. We're going to go straight back. It's incredible. It's incredible. You, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what happens. But it's really, really good. You've got to get yourself here. Some of you have been to Orlando. They've probably been up before. It's really, really fun. It's amazing. We're going to go on again. Straight away. Come on, let's go. How's it going? <laughs> Where are you guys from? England. From England. England, yeah. okay. Yeah, I met some people from England earlier. They told me I could go check it out and I had the permission to climb Big Ben. Is that yeah. still cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's still okay? Yeah, okay. That. I just yeah. feel like that's the best place to get a good view of everything, right? Who are you going to side with in Civil War then? Oh my goodness. So I've heard some people tell me that stuff is going down. Yeah. But right now, I am everybody's friend. <laughs> I, I have no sides. I love everyone. So that way I don't get in trouble, you know? Fair enough. Some people are getting mad Okay, what about this? Um, who do you prefer out of... Um, M, uh, out of, oh god, I blanked, sorry, MJ or um, Gwen Stacy? Oh my, MJ or Gwen Stacy? Yeah. See, once again, you're putting me in a pickle. Yep. I like both of them <laughs> equally. Okay. See, very that good. way, I don't think one get mad at me. No, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> you got it very well. Very You're diplomatic. Very I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Google's always trying to hammer me with these tough questions. Yeah. So I've learned. Very politician, you know? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting down this low and you're not even going to look at me. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go over there. 
Okay, we've just travelled to Asgard together to meet Thor. This is quite exciting. We're in, Very exciting. We're in Thor's throne room. He's just behind us there meeting a few people. We're queuing up to meet him, asking a few questions. We've got all the stars from one day. Good, good. How are you? a similar accent, not quite, it's somewhere there, isn't it? A little it? bit, yes. Nearly, nearly. Have been to Asgard? Oh, this is my first time. I was going to say. Yeah. But, you um, like me. I do, did you wear that for me? I did, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thor, who would, um, who would, do you think you could take hold? Because it's... Do I think I could take him? Of yeah. course I do. Well, <laughs> you've got to do Taking on bigger monsters than <laughs> But I'd rather him be on my team. Well, he looks like he's going to be on your team, doesn't he? In the next, in your little adventure in you Ragnarok. You heard about that. Yes. Yeah, it looks yes. like you're going to kind of have a buddy road movie. Well, we're like. missing our, our buddy Civil Wars movie. Captain yes, America because Civil whoever Wars, team, whoever's we team... We need to move you around. Well, that's it. If you're, whoever's team you're on, you'd win. Yes, there yeah, you exactly. are. Like you're, you're like the end game. Whose team so. are you on? Team Cap or Team Iron um, Cap. What about you? Iron Man's a douche in this. You've got to go. You've got to go. <laughs> I just you said it. Okay, yeah, I just got, said it. You've got to go. You don't know Marvel, do you? You've got to be a teacher. You're very well. So it looks like he's got the gems. He does. Yeah. I'm not worried about him. Vision, we have vision. So you're you're tougher else. than vision. What's that? You're tougher than vision. Think so. Up easily. I appreciate he's that. Only, he's only <laughs> tough. Why do you think he was able to lift my head? Are you trying to well, help him? Because, um, because, you, uh, because you, you kind of... I made him with You him. made him, yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go, yeah. Hello, Bob. How are you? I could ask you the same question. <laughs> Um, I want to know. Um, listen, how did you get out of the Sarlacc, okay? That is for me to know, and you not to know. <laughs> You've gone, you had, for a while, you had a kind of um, an Australian voice, but you seem to have gone back to the kind of original, the voice you should, I see you're not liking that question too much. No, he didn't like that, he didn't like that. Okay, um, maybe just a photo, is that okay? Oh, by all means. <laughs> Look, we're meeting now, someone else from Star Wars. Here he is. Hello, Chewie. Oh, look here. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, Chewie. Can I give my um, phone to... Well, I'll give, I'll give to you. Oh, sorry about Han Solo, Chewie. No, I know, it's no good, man. Well done for getting the shot in his gut. That's good. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you, buddy. Good to see you. Take care. Hi, friends. Remain right here one second. Will do. You and one know what we just found out. Sorry? <laughs> we found out that there's a resistance space not too far from here. And Master Kylo Ren will be able to go find it. You don't know of any resistance fighters around here, do you? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. No, I don't think so. You don't think he's part of it? Why do you think he has an imaging device on him, trying to record all this information? He, I, yeah, I don't know what that's for. That is strange. I am quite suspicious about why he's recording this. Yeah. So who's going to be watching this information? I'm not sure. I must, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what he's doing, actually. That's very strange. I have a bone to with you, sir. Not, I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy with what you did today. <laughs> Come on in, take a second. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Vin. Make sure all the imaging devices are there. I'll leave you for the agency. What do you do? Enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, you're right. Control for the resistance. Sorry? Control your thoughts. Or I will do it for you. I'm doing it. I've got it. Okay, I'm okay now. Browning, I'm your friend. You're Do you think he looks, he's got similar sort of haircut to you, right? Don't you want it? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, here we are on a lovely day in a, the Simi Valley, I believe. A little bit of a strange one for you here, kind of movie related, certainly connected to Hollywood and the kind of some rather darker side. If you look behind me, is that the mountain there and this uh, grassy area that we're in now? Well, this was the location of the Spawn Ranch. The Spawn Ranch was where Charles Manson and the Manson family used to live. This is where they lived when they commit the murder of Sharon Tate 
uh, and the Le Bianca murders back in the 60s. There was a, it was a movie ranch that was there. Charlie approached the owner of the movie ranch. It was an old used for westerns. He approached the owner, I think it was Mr Spawn, said, can, we, can the family move in? He paid the guy with the girls. They did the little favours. And they lived there. The, the Spawn ranch was burnt down. Um, I don't know the exact date. You can find that out, can't you? You can Wikipedia it. But anyway, they, the Spawn ranch was burnt down. As the, as the ranch burnt, all the girls danced round in a kind of crazy... Well, crazy dancer circling around the Spawn Ranch, screaming helter skelter, helter skelter. But this is it. We want to go closer, really. But I mean, there's a lot of rattlesnakes around. Um, I'm scared. I've watched a lot of these videos on YouTube, and the American, the locals are pretty scared about doing it. Maybe we can get a little closer. Um, okay, should we try? Just get to there, shall we? So, okay, so we're kind of closer. I don't want to go too far into this thick grass. I'm terrified. A lot of this land is owned by the by the uh, what the the council. What, what would you say that in America? The government? I'm not too sure. But uh, the church owns a lot of it as well, and they don't really like people coming up and checking it out for the the murder stuff. But it is kind of interesting. If we were to get, if we were braver and we were to push down there, the famous rock, the cave, the Manson Cave, that you might have seen on Time magazine, is just down there. I mean, I'd love to go, but the, the fear is pretty great. Shall we push further? No, Mike's the cameraman saying no. Well, I mean, it's an interesting story. It's certainly a big part of, sort of, Hollywood mythology. It's pretty creepy, I have to say, but then, you know, we, I have a little bit of a creep. Um, Interesting, interesting. Look at your game, girl. That was a Charlie Manson song. Oh, God, it's quite sunny today out here. If it wasn't so scary, I'd probably uh, have a little sunbathe. Hello there. We're actually here on Bundy Drive at the moment. Uh, there's a new TV that show that started over in England called The People vs. O.J. Simpson. This is actually the, uh, the road, and we're going to try and find you the house uh, of Nicole Simpson's house, where she was brutally murdered, probably by O.J. Simpson. Possibly not. Who knows? I wasn't there, thank goodness. It wasn't me, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, we're going to try and find you the, uh, the house that uh, Nicole Simpson and her... Uh, the guy that she was... I can't remember his name. You need to Wikipedia that if you want to find that sort of detail out. We're going to, I'm going to try and find you the house where she was uh, murdered now. Certainly somewhere on this street. Hello there, yeah, we're stuck around the back of these houses looking for, trying to find the uh, Nicole Simpson house where she was murdered with her uh, lover at the time, I think. Um, I think it could well be this house here, though it has, does look like it's changed. It doesn't quite look like uh, it does on the pictures. I think they may have, re have renumbered them so that creeps like me don't go looking for uh, murder scenes. But I think it's somewhere around here. Okay, well, we're really not supposed to be in this area here because this is at the back of people's houses, so I think we probably need to shoot. Uh, let's go. It's intermission time. Time for refreshment. During the next 10 minutes, you're invited to visit the refreshment stand, where you'll be greeted with fast, friendly service. No, oh, no, no, man, we got no time for junk food. Good morning, Internet. How are you? Uh, just having a little spot of breakfast here in this lo lovely, uh, what is it, Cafe Crepe, they call it now, in Santa Monica. Very nice little place. If you ever come to Santa Monica, get your breakfast here. Lovely eggs, I have to say. More importantly, though, this is actually used to be the record shop from Pretty in Pink. Have you seen that film? It's a good film. It's on Netflix, if you haven't seen it. John Hughes, classic. Uh, we went to Ferris Bueller as well. That's another John Hughes film. I like John Hughes. Uh, so, yeah, this used to be her record shop. Um, it's really changed. Obviously, it's just a location that's the same. But um, the door's kind of in the same location there. I think her counter was sort of kind of where we're sat, maybe? I don't know, I need to watch the film again a little bit more, but, you know, watch the film's quite good. We have a couple of very famous scenes in this film where Ducky comes in and does a little dance around. Uh, yeah, it's cool, it's a good film. But here we are, in the uh, Pretty in Pink record shop, Stroke Cafe Crap Cafe. 
Hello there, we've got another location connected to Iron Man. This is from Iron Man 2. It's been used in loads of stuff. Do you remember when Iron Man gets very, very drunk and messed up? And um, he kind of goes off the rails a bit. Well, Nick Fury goes looking for him. And um, what he does is he, Nick Fury finds him, completely kind of messed up after that party. Do you remember the party? He has a fight with, um, with, uh, with his mate Rhodes. Well, he, Nick Fury stands about where I'm standing now and he shouts up to Iron Man, who sat in the donut there of Randy's Donuts. It's actually Inglewood. They do very good donuts in here as well. But yeah, this is where Iron Man 2 was filmed. Hello there, we're in another great location here. Uh, this is a film I've seen many times, I actually had to study this and uh, teach this a few times. This is a film with Shia LaBeouf in called Disturbia, based on sort of Hitchcock's rear window. That there, if you look over that hedge there, these hedges are all in the film as well. Uh, that's, that's Kale's house, Shia LaBeouf's house there. He gets stuck in there, he gets under sort of house arrest for um, popping his teacher in the face, do you remember that? Um, at one point he has to lean through this hedge to try and get his mail. That's Ashley's house over there, the girl that he tries to uh, get it on with. He does get it on with in the end. But this is the actual street they film in. That's the house over there. I don't know if you remember with the, um, the, the, the maid with the, the tattoo on her, the titty tattoo as he says. Um, having an affair with the husband. And that's there. All these houses there. That You see that house there. Even got a flag on the house in the film, which is weird. I think that's where the dog goes past. The kid on the bike, on the little plastic scooter rides down here and his mum rides afterwards and Cal goes, he's gone that way, he's gone that way. Cal at one point runs down here because of the flaming bag of poop that someone puts on his door and he chases them off down that road there. We'll try and get a better look because these hedges are very high. But yeah, this is this is the very street. The only thing that's not here is um, the killer's house, that side. They created that as a facade. But here we go. There is Cale's house. Shia Booth lived in that house, was under house arrest in Disturbia there. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Perfect. Okay, we're back at Pat and, Pat and Lorraine's again for our uh, regular breakfast, and guess who we've run into yet again? My old friend Richard Brake. Hello. Great to be we here. always Good seem to see you, see you here. Lovely to see you. And we've also run into another friend, Jeff Daniel Phillips yes. here. Hello, nice how are you doing? Having. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. How's it going, guys? So you're, you're both in the film together. Um, at the, we, we are. We 31. Yeah, yeah, very yes. exciting. Very, very yeah. good. Very, very and, so, and that's just gone down really well at the Sundance, hasn't it? It has. We just came back. We're having breakfast now, and uh, it was did amazing. The film's done, you know, it's got great, great reaction and we're very excited. Yeah, and great Jeff, breakfast too. Yeah, great. Love it. Jeff was saying you're very yeah. scary in this new film as well. He said it's a, a little bit scary. Yeah, pretty scary, scary. After the movie you, you won't be interviewing him anymore, you'll be too scared. <laughs> oh really? Oh brilliant. <laughs> That's that just, excellent. Uh, we actually got um, something else. Um, I think Mike, Mike's got something he wants to get signed, if that's all right. Oh, here it is. Oh, can I open it? Yeah. I think I know what it is. Yeah, you can have a look at it. I know what it is. You know what it is. Oh, oh I know what it is. Oh. Oh, where'd you get one of those from? I'm looking for one of those for my kids. I can't, I can't find these things anywhere. It's a hot topic. Yeah, they've just come out in hot topic. So, yeah. Is that what you buying? Yes. <laughs> Wow. I think it's rather exclusive. That's amazing. Are, I was looking everywhere for one. And you've of these. got you've got another you've got another one coming out soon as well, an action figure. So you've got the this I one. I do. You're you've right. Got, yeah, we'll I'll get that. Busy. We'll get that as well. He just wrote to eBay because he's going to sell it on <laughs> eBay right after that. <laughs> Well, that's brilliant. That's there brilliant. Thank you very that's much. Great. It's, and it's it. great to see you guys. And um, so we look out for so every time. Every time. It's so weird. We it run is, into each it other. Is, like well, this. it's just the eggs and bacon are so yeah. good here. I guess that's yeah. where we. And they're gluten free. Yeah. Well, there you We're go. In California. Though. So 31 out in summer. 31 out in summer. Go guys. Got to go and see this yeah, film. It's Excellent. Be, it's going to be a classic. Brilliant. And that's yeah, that's great. Yeah. So well, good luck. Thank you very much. Nice to see you guys. Have a good time. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Take care. Hello, check out my pumpkins. Uh, here we are on Halloween set again. Do you recognise this house? This is where the girl sits with the old pumpkin, waiting for her friend to come and visit her. Uh, the lady who lives here is very nice. She leaves these pumpkins out for people to uh, come and get shot. Yeah, this is the, the very place from Halloween. The original film, that is. Um, come up and have a look. She leaves these pumpkins up here. CDs up here so you don't bang the head. Mm -hmm. Here we go, this is the house from Halloween, very, very nice. As you can see here, yes, this is the house from Halloween. And there's the pictures from the film, you can see it. There's Jamie Lee Curtis there, that with the, that with the uh, pumpkin as we speak. What's interesting is when Rob Zombie did his remake, um, he actually used the same street. This house isn't used in it, but um, if you see that library over there, and you can see the two windows, 
we'll get a bit closer, I guess. Well, come with me, follow me. Got like Annika Rice. Um, so you see those two windows there? That's where the girls sit there, and they're sitting inside the windows. They look across, and Michael Myers actually stood across the road very quickly. Michael Myers is stood here. That's in the remake. So Rob Zombie wanted to come to a similar sort of area to get the feel for the, for the, for the film, I guess. He was such a fan of John Carpenter's original. Very interesting, isn't it? Two of the remake filmed in the same street. Very cool. Hello, we're here at the uh, just outside the Dolby Theatre where they do the uh, the Oscars. Uh, the other day they had the red carpet coming up here. A few of these steps, so the, the actors come out down there and they walk all the way up here. You see all the shops, when they had the Oscars, this one gets covered, so it looks a lot more glam. It's only, what, when, when was the Oscars, Mike? That was, what, three days ago, four days ago? They've already got spotlights up already, as you can see there, because every year they put up the names of the films that win, so you can see spotlights already there. Pretty good. Anyway, they come up here, the red carpet goes round here, round this circular bit here. You look down this circular bit, I think it's kind of, I don't know who this is, maybe Audrey Hepburn, I think. Have a look. That looks like Audrey Hepburn to me. Is it one woman? Is it lots of women? I don't know, but they come around here. There she is again. Red carpet goes around here, and then they go in these doors here. So this is where the Oscars are actually held. This is where they get their awards. They go in here. But this is, this is quite literally the closest I'm ever going to get to an Oscar. You've, you've seen how I present. Not great. But um, yeah, this is it. Pretty impressive, don't you think? Let me in. Let me in. Hey, is Mando Loco. Yes. Yeah, let's let's do our, our little hello, hello, and then that's it. Hello, we're back at the Hollywood Museum again. My friend Ken, how's it going? Pretty good. good How are you doing? You. How you doing? Nice so you've to see got you. a new yeah. um, new exhibit here from Linda Blair's Hell Night. Yes, Hell Night with Linda Blair. It's the dead man that was in the basement. Oh wow! And she she went down and she was being chased down to the basement and she ran into a family eating dinner and they're all dead. And what this guy did, he took his family and killed them and then put them in as a dinner display and he kept her there. Amazing. So she ran into him when, in the movie and we had to make them specially for the movie. So you worked on this as well? This. Yes, I made this. This oh, is all made out of rubber. It's sculpted in clay. Sculpted clay first and we make a plaster mold and right. then we made it out of rubber. Right. And then painted it up and foamed it. And, and, so is it and solid? Like it doesn't move? The body itself is made out of fiberglass. We just cut the fiberglass oh, up right. and changed it in different shapes and then sealed it back up again. Oh, so it's kind of like that. a mannequin, but yet the hands and the head is rubber and foam. And it was also used in a movie called uh, uh, Raising, of the Raising the Titanic. Oh, right. Uh, they did a movie called Raising the Titanic, and in the Titanic, I don't know if you remember, but they had a gold safe, and this guy got really greedy, yeah. and he wanted to go and take the money as the ship was going down. Right. Well, the door shut on him. So when they raised the Titanic, they opened the safe door, and this dead man was in there with all this money hanging in him. Wow. So he was used in that movie too. So he got to be used in two movies. That's incredible. Yeah, we made him for two movies. So and you've just got it now. It's a new. It's a new. Yes, exhibit. we just got him in back in. He's actually going back east to New York. Somebody wants him really badly. What? A big collector, oh, right. film collector. And he wants, he collects movies. He's got parts of uh, Tourist Trap with Chuck Connors. He has wow. all the masks. I don't know how he got really them. I mean, that's, that must be quite an expensive thing to purchase. That, he's going to probably get it for like 2000 to $3,000. Oh, We're just bidding on it, trying to figure right, out what he wants to pay because of the shipping. Cause yeah, yeah. I can't take them apart, so no. he's going to have to be in a little big box. Yeah, you know? sure. So the man, that's, that's a strange thing if they scan that box as they're looking at a yeah, box with a dead man. Yeah, a dead man in it. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really creepy. Yeah. So we have, we have to put it outside stating it's a mannequin, film yeah. mannequin. That's, it's not real. Oh, you that's know? brilliant. Because they would scan it. And, yeah, and yeah. you look inside, there's a dead man. <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing. A very strange <laughs> you know? thing to get in the post. But yeah. it's, it's great to see you again, Ken. Yeah, it's Thanks. nice seeing you guys. Hopefully and, run into you again next year okay. and have more stories of horror. You've, oh, got, yeah. you've got to get yourself down to the Hollywood Museum. This, if you like horror, this is the place this to be. Place. It's amazing. Yeah, it's the place to be. And all the monsters are here. Freddy and Jason and all of them. Excellent. Thanks, Ken. See you later. <laughs> got to be really super quick there, yeah? Okay, go. Hello there. We're back in uh, Santa Monica at the uh, shopping mall. We've been here before, I think. We were talking about Terminator 2. Last time we came here, it was actually a bit closed and we couldn't really show you very much. Um, they, they filmed over Terminator 2 here with the uh, T-1000 was looking for John Connor. He was down in the arcade, do you remember that bit? 
The Terminator comes down with a bunch of roses, has a gun inside it, points it, come with me if you want to live, all that whole that thing, and uh, you know, shoots the T-1000. It happens in a back corridor that's actually behind all the shops, and they're not really allowed there, but they've left the door open. So if I just push it open, we'll have a little peek, shall we? Okay, be quick. There it is. So that's it, that was the, that's the alleyway that they shoot in Terminator 2, and that's where he runs down, there it is. Very nice, Terminator 2. Let's go. They've got a few other things here. They actually filmed uh, Fast Times at Richmond High, the 80s classic with uh, Sean Penn. Do you remember that? Have you seen that? It's on Netflix. You should watch it. It's very good. There's a shot of this escalator at one point. They go up this escalator. We'll take a ride on the escalator. Oh, blimey. We'll take a ride on the escalator too. There I am, if I try and remain some dignity in that. So here we are. Feels very 80s, doesn't it? Very nice. Santa Monica. Shopping arcade again. We're here to show you another location we haven't been to see yet. This is actually from one of my favourite films, The Sting. Um, if you just look here, this is the uh, carousel. You see those steps out those windows? Well, that's where Robert Redford walks up there to when he comes to try and find Paul Newman. He's told by the woman at the top that Paul Newman's inside fixing the carousel. And it's this carousel here, would you believe? This is the one that Paul Newman's working on fixing when uh, Robert Redford comes to find him to try and learn how to do the big con. We're going to try and get on this, on this carousel now and try and relive the moment. Should we see if we can get on it? What fun, eh? What, what great to be back in Santa Monica. Let's go. Hey, we're on the ride. Here we go. Blimey, it's pretty, pretty full on here. here we, I feel like Robert Redford. Do I look like Robert Redford? Oh, well, this is it. This is the actual, uh, the actual carousel that went on and he was trying to fix it as he was going around. It's spinning. Oh, very good. Also from the opening of Three's Company, John Ritter was on here. Very nice. Getting the feeling now. I want to sing The Entertainer. Oh, it's very good. If you look up here, these were actually the flats where, uh, in those windows there, they were, if you can see them as we spin by, one of those windows was actually Paul Newman's... Blimey, it goes quite quick, doesn't it? Oh, um, where is it? I'm getting a bit dizzy. One of those windows there as we're passing is, um, uh, was, was Paul Newman's apartment where he was asleep on the bed and Robert Wolfe went in and find him. It's actually very quick, this, really, considering. <coughs> A little bit Mary Poppins. A little bit dizzifying that was. Uh, a little bit more violent than I had imagined it. Just getting my breath back. Well, here we are. Look, this is the very steps that Robert Redford comes to when he had initially... We showed it to you through the window, but this is a better, better view. This is where he comes to meet Paul Newman. He walks up here and the woman meets him at the top and says, he's in there, go in there and find him. Uh, so this is it. These are the very steps. Robert Redford walked up these steps. Pretty amazing. I'm stood here where Robert Redford was. If only I had his looks. If only I had his money. Hello there. Well, it's been another good year, another fun time. Just heading back to an old location we went to a couple of years ago now. This is the old cinema from Donnie Darko, remember that? He meets Frank here, goes to see Evil Dead. Uh, so we're just heading in. They've got a bit of a uh, bit of a tribute on at the moment to another departed star, which was old Alan Rickman, unfortunately. Here we are, the Donnie Darko cinema. Come around the side, you can have a look at the, the bit here. Uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman Retro. There we are, Donnie Darko Cinema. Another Mondo Fantastic Year. If you're still hungry for more, check out our new UK location show, Creepy Cool. Mondo Loco. Mando Loco.